Oh, the monkey brain. Me no know how to kill shield. Oh, monkey happy. I don't know why I am this way, but I am. And I can't help it. So what is this gun here? This gun here is the Kang Arms Model 54. And this is a new pistol, part of the Smuggler Pack 3. And what you guys saw me showing off was an underbarrel shotgun attachment. You heard me right, an underbarrel shotgun before a pistol. It's hilarious. Look at this thing. It only carries one shotgun shell. <laughs> it's lovely. It's actually kind of cute. So, as you can see, here's the underbarrel attachment, and you can equip regular shotgun rounds, flechette, or, as you saw me using, AP Slug, which adds penetration. So, I think this is a pretty unique weapon. Let's see what it has to offer. Personally, I think this is the most interesting addition from the Smuggler Pack 3 DLC. But, I will try to make a video taking a look at the other weapons in the pack, too, and just the pack as a whole, I guess, but... I'm in the middle of midterms right now, and I'm running on no sleep as it is, so I'm just doing what I can for now. Anyway, this little gun stuck out to me, because this is now the, what is it, third gun in the game? With an underbarrel attachment. And I never would have guessed that Overkill would put it on a pistol. I mean, let's be honest, ever since they added the underbarrel grenade launcher, I'm sure a decent amount of people would have been waiting for a master key attachment as well. Just never thought we would get it like this, you know? So, what's up with the gun? The pistol as a whole is pretty dang boring. It's your standard pistol that comes in a Kimbo, single secondary, it's in the mid damage range like the 1911, the contractors, those kinds of pistols, and for the most part, there's nothing else that stands out about it from the pistol perspective. Of course, that's not why I'm here talking about it. The underbarrel shotgun attachment is what makes this little baby unique and pretty fun. So as you saw from the mods, you can't actually use all the available shotgun ammo types, specifically high explosive or dragon's breath rounds. Not that I think it would do very well with those anyway, since you have but one single shot before you gotta reload. Two if you're using the Akimbo version, I guess. Now, I played around with the other ammo types for Gamer 2, and while they do feel pretty strong, I didn't find it particularly interesting to have a pistol that just has one single shotgun shot as a utility. With armor penetrating slugs though, now you got something interesting on your hands. If you like having the 5.7 as a pocket shield killer, now you've got an even smaller pocket shield killer, but on your main gun. <laughs> Unfortunately, the 5.7 just has horrible ammo pickup, so you can't really use it as a main gun. With this Kang Arms, though, you don't have to swap to your secondary when you see a shield. And you also don't need to force yourself to bring a weapon dedicated to fill that role. You can do both with one gun, and still keep your other slot open. That is, of course, if you're happy running pistols to begin with. And speaking of pistols, one thing that was very hard to test was whether or not certain skills affected the underbarrel shotgun. If you remember from the mod screen, it actually didn't display a change in damage, or it didn't actually display its own separate damage, so I'm not really even sure what the damage of the shotgun is like. Now, I ran mostly with pistol skills, but as you may have noticed from the gameplay, the shotgun never crits. In fact, I'm not sure if other skills affect the shotgun either. Whatever the case is, it has a much higher base damage than most guns in the game, so at least from the damage department, there's nothing to worry about. So long as you don't miss the head, you'll one-shot everything. And that's good, because that's all you have. One shot. But there is something fun that I noticed. If you're running one of those skills that lets you shoot infinite ammo without reloading, there's basically no cap on the rate of fire, and you can go insane. Pretty much like Moscone with Swan Song or Bulletstorm. So for this particular build, I actually just dropped some of my usual skills, and I picked the Bulletstorm. And, well... You can see the utter destruction as it lays waste to anything in front of you. I had a hell of a time just spraying down and praying to Lord Jesus or whatever that I don't die in the process. So ignoring infinite ammo shenanigans, the underbarrel shotgun is a really niche utility. With just one shot, you can't do a whole lot with it. You can take out shields from the front with AP slugs, 
or maybe snipe a medic in a crowd of enemies, or actually use it to snipe snipers. But you definitely can't use it in a sustainable way. Even just trying to kill three shields consecutively with it is pretty harsh, because the reloading will get me killed. Which is really just the main downside of the attachment. I was actually very surprised to learn that the ammo pickup for it is pretty good. Like, between a 1 and 3 and a 1 and 2 ammo boxes would always get me back ammo. So even if you use it pretty liberally, you'll always get ammo back no problem. Really, it's just having one shot that's literally the big downside for me. Also the fact that you have really low starting ammo so you only have three shots in total. Of course, the other big downside is the attachment is on a rather boring pistol. It really does not interest me at all, besides having that one unique attachment. And as fun as the weapon can be, I'd also be hard pressed to say that it's actually quote unquote good, you know? But I ain't no smelly meta slave. I ain't gonna force anyone to play differently. If you think it suits your fancy, give it a whirly dirt. It's definitely good fun, but maybe not like $4 of DLC worth of fun. And I don't really think the other weapons are all that interesting. Anyway, like I said earlier, I'll try to cover the whole pack soon, but for now, I just wanted to share my thoughts on the pistol alone. That's all I got for you guys now, so thanks for watching.